Hey you guys! Alright, so first of all, I am so, like, I'm just, I'm happy to be here to talk to you guys today because I was like, oh my gosh, like, I was just itching to do a video. I was itching to kind of connect with you guys and to hang out and I feel like during this time, which, crazy ass time, it's so nice to be able to connect with each other and to have this is just such just such a cool thing uh, that we can obviously, you know, with these mundane days or whatever, you know, have have this time to hang out, to communicate, to like just social media, having, you know, people that you follow and enjoy, videos that can hopefully like uplift you and make you feel a little brighter and positive and not so uncertain, but that you have something to be you know, something to be sure about, something to count on, or someone that's going to be there for you every week, or, you know, whatever, something that's going to bring you some joy. So, I am really just, I was so, like I said, I was itching to talk to you guys today. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to wait till Friday to put this up. I feel like now, more than anything, I mean, I might go to a ton of videos a week. No, I don't know. Even though, like, you're at home, more, or you, not even, so, I mean, Brad and I were from home. I hate to say it, but like, we're, we do a lot of things at home anyways. This isn't so tough for us to be home and together. Uh, that's wonderful. It's not so incredibly different. But just like the activity, you know, things that you do every week, you know, your kids' schedules, you're just, oh, I'm going to go here or there, things that just are, are so different now. And um, gosh, even just from last week, things have changed so much. And so, gosh, my last video, yeah, like, I would, I mean, it's crazy. I feel like this last week, things have really kind of, like, gotten real, and, um, yeah, I just, I feel so thankful that, you know, that we're here, we're able to share and, and do all this together, um, but like I said, I just want to just hopefully share some of uplifting things. Um, we're obviously not able to go out and shop and do a whole hell of a lot. I'm going to explain to you, like, all the things that have been going on and things that we're doing and I feel like we're getting just like starting all these things in the house and wanting to, you know, but, um, but I do have some things that I picked up over the last, last month, like since obviously like stores are closed. Okay. Like we're not going to be going to shop around, shopping around, but I have found some really good things. If you are interested in picking up a few things for spring and this morning, it was really interesting because, um, this isn't sponsored in any way, but like on Nordstrom, they were doing, which that's where most of this stuff is from a 25% off which seemed like most things on the site. It looked like a lot of stuff. I've got it all hanging here. I'm trying to like to organize it a little bit. Some cute dresses and some... I'll try to try on some of these things if you guys... If you guys want, tell me. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I guess I'll just do it. But, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to do something fun and talk about something positive. And hopefully, hopefully it'll just, it'll bring you guys a little bit of, um, you know to this time that has been a little different, uh, this is not going to change. So that's great. So yeah, hope that you're all doing well. Hope that you're all being like safe and cautious and spending time at home with your loved ones. And I mean, every, this has impacted so many of us, I think, in different ways. It's so weird though that like it is kind of like something that has, it's not a regional thing that we're all coming together to like support some certain like grief stricken area or like if there's been a natural disaster or something like we all hurt and come together but it's something that we're all experiencing you know what i'm saying like schools are closed and places are closed we're all kind of inside it's it's weird i feel like looking around just things are quieter slow obviously just you know i guess we'll just continue making good decisions hope for the best and like i said it is uncertain like you, what's gonna happen but i feel that for me it is very easy to think oh my gosh and to get freaked out but i it's but i'm also very i feel calm about it and like just really what's helping me is just one day at a time, like focusing on my family, making sure that, you know, I've got a happy child and a happy husband and a happy dog and a happy myself, okay? Because you don't want to flip the hell out and like, you know, make everybody's life miserable. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's just a good time to get like within ourselves, obviously, we're kind of forced to right now. And um, just love on our families and be kind to one another. So 
And you know, it is funny because like I feel, especially I do when I do like on social media or on YouTube, whatever, like the big hot thing over the last several years is like such a, such a hermit, such a, you know, like I'm not a fan of people. Like I'm socially awkward. I just want to be with myself. Everyone seems to like have that, not everyone, but I'm just saying like that's a very popular thought. And it was so funny because one of my friends was like, did you notice that like when all of that, like when things kind of started getting real, those were all the people that were like, but I gotta take a last minute trip, but I gotta go here, but I gotta go there. I'm like, stay the hell at home. Like, just, no, it's like, <laughs> it was funny. It's it's crazy, and like, I, I've got no problem being a hermit. Like, I will hermit it up forever, but I, oh my gosh, like, just the impact on like businesses and people that are like uncertain about their jobs or like financial things, and oh my gosh, like, I mean, the market obviously like went crazy, and like financial, that has been a, a pain for us, you know, because, but it's like, what can you do? And things will eventually, you know, correct itself and hope, you know, things will be good. But I am very much not, I don't want to be like, oh, what a great time. Let's just be cozy at home. Let's do that. Let's do that. I, do, I realize there are so many people that are dealing with just like massive stresses because of this. You know, we're all going through something in our own way with this. But I just feel like if we could just get within ourselves maybe and try to focus just on positive things and like I said our families and I don't know guys I don't know I feel like we're all doing the best that we can um I have been cleaning out a lot of stuff next is my closet which with these spring clothes and things I've got to get rid of so many things like I'm well aware like I feel like I did a pretty good job last year of like cleaning out some things but I've got some shirts and like t-shirts and things I know I'm not going to wear I need to kind of really clean out, oh my gosh, we cleaned out Olivia's room and her toys and organized things in the kitchen and organized things like our cap, our little, you know, cabinets in the family room, the built-ins like where we keep her toys and our games and stuff and got so many things to donate, which I guess we'll be hanging on to that stuff for a while, you know, because I don't even know if people are like accepting donations and stuff, which I don't think that's like, can you imagine during this time, all of the people cleaning out everything, the like influx of things like for goodwill and it's gonna be worse than like the Mar Marie Kondo thing where like goodwill has had to like stop accepting things you know what I mean like because I've talked to so many people that are kind of doing the same thing and we're being so like forced to stay like in our homes that I think that we are just naturally cleaning things out and and I that has been nice I will say I have enjoyed doing that and um you know, it's made us really want to like jump start some things that we're doing. We have been saying that we're going to like rip up our carpet upstairs. We were going to actually just do the closet. We were going to start, I was going to get like some different carpet in the closet. And then I kind of canceled that. And I was like, no, we can't do that because if we do hard floors in the hallway and in the bedrooms, I want to just do it in here. I don't, I don't know if I want to do carpet in here again. I'm just over that. I'm ready to be done with it. So, you know, we picked, we've picked out what we want and um you know it was all gonna kind of like start and then we're like well do we really want to start this right now are we gonna have like are we gonna want to be like traveling back and forth places like taking like massive amounts of carpet to like to the dump or like will they even be like do we even want to go out there like what's happening and i don't know if we want it i don't know but it's a good time to do it because we're like here you know and it's like it could it could actually whatever i don't know so that's like our next thing. That's what we're starting. We're going to start with our bedroom, which I'm really excited about. So all that kind of has to come out and it's, it's just, it's a lot. So, um, but then it's going to kind of be moved back and then it's going to continue. You know what I mean? Like the rooms aren't going to be, it's just going to be all continuous. So we're going to, we're trying to kind of like plan that out. It is a little bit, like I said, it's just weird, but, um, but just cleaning out and doing things like that, I think it has been kind of fun doing some productive things. Of course, like, Olivia has been, like, fully enjoying herself. We've played more games than I think I've played in my entire life, like, in this last week. But, um, but anyways, y'all, okay, so enough of that. I mean, I know. We all know what's going on. And like I said, if this can be a fun outlet, something that we can count on every week. Um, and yes, I'm, can you see this? I don't know if this is apparent, but I have the zit from hell on my face. I don't know. Maybe it's from stress. Like, I feel like I never, some of the most stressful times in my life, I feel like I don't break out. So people always say, oh, it's stress or it's whatever. I don't really feel particularly like stress. I mean, in certain ways. Yeah. Like there's, but yeah, this set is just, 
but it is just, mm, mm -mm. I don't know, if you can't see it, I might cut this part out talking about it, but if you can a little bit, I'm like, I need to adjust that because she is like real, and I never break out on my cheeks. So what I think it is, I really truly do think it's hormonal because like lots of fun things happening right now. So I think that's what's happening. So, okay, let's, let's get into it guys. Let's talk about this stuff. Next week, um, I, yeah, I do have a, nah, like I can't talk, I'm going to have a, I do have a beauty video plan that's kind of some fun stuff that you can be doing right now and like some fun things that, it's, like, it's kind of like some fun things to do right now, like beauty things and some, you know, just whatever, because I have fully been like, you know, doing all the self-care stuff right now. It's been real fun. And who knew that these Kiss Nails would be like real and handy right now because nail salons are closed. If nail salons aren't closed, I don't even know what to say. They should be. I'm pretty sure, right? Oh my god, gross. They should be closed. But, um, right? Right? Y'all, if you were like someone that has to have your nails, just get you some Kiss Nails. I'm going on my third week. I'm telling you. I have a video on how you apply them. I used to only be able to stretch them out maybe like a week and a half to two weeks. And I was really proud of that. But these are not like normal glue-on nails. They feel like acrylic nails from a salon. Exactly the same. I got my, my nails done for years. They're paper thin down here, but they are super thick at the ends. They feel just like acrylics. Um, I just, I really, I cut my nails down real low before I do them. I file them and I kind of use the file over my regular nails lightly. And then I push my cuticles back just like you'd be doing in a regular manicure. So make sure your cuticles are way back. And then when you apply the nail, take the nail and kind of get it real up in there. Not like, that, sounds, that always sounds so aggressive, but like just push it into your cuticle, you know, it doesn't hurt. And honestly, like it's been three weeks and I'm just now getting kind of that dry, you know, like where your cuticles, you don't have a gap yet, but you know, like where your cuticles start, like they're hanging onto the nail, but it's like separating. So it's starting to look a little dry, but you can fix that. Like I could, I could probably take the nail polish off and paint them again. But what I do is maybe like at the week and a half mark when you can maybe see that they're not so fresh anymore. They look like you can see some little bubbles, um, which I usually don't have a lot of them. And then I'll paint them and they can hang on for another little while. But this is the best nail polish. It's been on for like two weeks. I need to touch that up again. Two weeks, right? I mean, when you paint these nails, the nail polish doesn't chip, but it starts wearing off. Uh, but this is that caramel latte color that is it's the best. If I could have one nail polish forever, it would be this. It's so pretty. But I'll link to that and I'll link to these nails. Um, and yeah, um, yeah, and it looks like the roots are going to hang on for a lot longer too. So let's just, let's just get into it. Okay. On my lips, you guys asked about this. This is what I was wearing in that little selfie with Olivia that I posted on Instagram. Okay. Here's the thing. The, this lip liner y'all, this is what you want. Okay. And this is something that when you go on your must have trips to the grocery store, okay, you can sneak over into the cosmetic aisle and grab you one of these. And it is the Maybelline color sensational shaping lip liner in nude whisper y'all this may surpass mac dervish for my all-time favorite um lip pencil okay i swear we're gonna get to the clothes in a minute we will but it's a mechanical pencil so you don't ever have to sharpen it which is nice but it is so creamy and good it is just the perfect and it lasts a really long time on your lips but i just have it on with a clear gloss this is that la mer lip maximize is that what it's called no lip volumizer anything. That's what I do. I do just mainly lip liner and then clear gloss. But yeah, let's get into it. So this top, you guys, oop, um, I really love it. It comes with a piece made into it underneath, you know, for your, like, you know, for like a, like a liner. But I love the shape of it. I love everything about this top. All right, so next I grabbed this top. I decided to try this stuff on. I was just going to kind of show it, but it's like, I feel like you kind of need to see it on. I would wear a black bra with it, so it might be kind of a little reflecty with these lights. But um, I've worn the lighter color as well. I have this one as well. I wore that the other day, and you couldn't see through it. So you couldn't see through that one, but just wear the appropriate undergarments. Of course, for this one, I'd wear black, and it is showing. You can't see it normally, but it's just it's because I'm wearing a light-colored bra, and I've got all these lights. But... I, these are so good because it's a good springy top, good for summer even, but it doesn't just look like a basic like t-shirt. There's some substance to it. Do you know what I mean? I just love these little sleeves, but yet they're so thin and cool and airy. This top, you guys, I love it so much. I haven't taken the tags off of it yet. Um, I gotta take the tags off of it, but anyways, so it's a little, 
little flappy down there. It's hard to find striped tops for me. They're either like a cheap looking, you know, t-shirt that's like navy and too nautical looking, or it's just cheesy. I don't know, I really like this one. I love the material, I like the cut of it, I like that it has like this little mock neck. It's flattering, um, but it's, it's not like a stark white, it's like a nude color. So I like that a lot. And, um, and I hope you guys are enjoying me trying this stuff on because, like, obviously we can't go to the stores and try it on now. And I've never been into dressing room try-on videos where people are literally just going in there to make a video off of things that they're not buying and then linking you to them. I like to just show you guys things that I truly buy and wear. Oh my gosh, so many cute dresses. Okay, this little cutie, you guys. I love this so much because it reminds me of those Walmart, uh, v-neck sweaters that I got last year and those are like non-negotiable things for me to like clean out if I'm ever cleaning out my closet I'm like nope nope gotta keep all of those I just I love those so much I always love the fit of them and everything and I like this one because it's got a little bit of like um a little bit of you know thing it's got a little bit of texture with these little pom-poms and the palms are not in an awkward spot they're up high nobody's nobody's nips are that high hope not um so it's not anywhere that is questionable <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Those are like satin sat nips. No, I'm kidding. But anyways, it's a really cute top, and I really, really love it. And um, next, let's try this on. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. Okay, so a, a few dresses, like I said, but this one I got, it was one of the things I was probably the most like excited to get because I love the way that it looked online, but I was a little unsure when I got, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks way too small. It is actually really comfortable. Um, maybe I should wear my skims with this. If you guys missed my Instagram story where I was trying on my skims, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you, but um, maybe this is a, uh, maybe that would be a good decision to wear with this, but it's not even that bad. I pictured it was gonna show like every little lump and bump, and it's really not that bad. And it is a little shorter, but it's okay. I really like the vibe of this dress. Even if you're not like going to play tennis, I think it's kind of fun, right? <laughs> and it's really comfortable. And the material's kind of like, not scuba material, but just kind of like comfortable and thin. I love it. And I think the color's just really beautiful. Again, I will put all my sizes below, and um, I have a few more things to try on, but stick around because I'm going to go through Olivia's stuff real quick at the end. Some really cute options for Easter, like, I don't even know what's going to be happening. I do still want, I mean, of course, Olivia's still going to wear an Easter dress. We're still going to have an Easter egg hunt and watch church online, obviously, on Easter. That would be a great thing to do with your family um, if you want to, but I do want to show you guys some of the little dresses that I got for her, so stick around, okay? Just, just keep hanging on. Um, a few more things. This dress, you guys, I think anyone would like it. Obviously, maybe wear it with like a bra that's black, or I don't know, is it a kind of cool vibe to have like a bra under it that kind of like looks a little logo-y? I don't know. Um, all right, so anyways, kind of like a cute, just like peasant style dress. Comfy, flowy, and it does not drag the ground. It's, you know, comes right like, you know, mid-calf, maybe a little lower. But comfy, breezy, easy, something that you could wear all the time, but um, super, super cute. This next dress kind of has like more, I don't know, like like casual, kind of like military-ish vibes or, I don't know, what would you call that? Like a circle, I don't know what you know. Anyways, I didn't really know where to tie it, so I did it off to this side. It kind of hits a little higher than the last dress. But I don't know if I would even use this. I think, honestly, I would put on like a logo-y belt with it or a fun, just any kind of cutesy little belt, you know? Um, is that weird? I don't know. But I like this dress. I think it's easy. I think it's just like such a pretty color. It just looks simple. Could you imagine just like with a nude bag and some sandals? Just very easy for spring or summer. This definitely may be one of the most favorite things that I grabbed. And it came in a blue also, but I, I never really buy like many red or pink things. So I thought I would give it a shot. And I, now that I love it so much, I really want it in the blue. And the material is just like so soft and cozy. And something that I really do like about this is that even though it is kind of I wouldn't say like super short. I, I'm very funny about things that are really short. I'm not super comfortable in things that are majorly short, but this is pretty short, but kind of like that Nike dress because it still looks airy, it looks light, it looks like spring. 
because the sleeves balance it out. I mean, if even if this was sleeve, it'd be super cute. But I don't know. It just depends, right? But the vibe of this dress is very comfortable, easy to wear. Um, oh, I don't know. I just feel really, I feel really, really comfortable in it, and. I might get it in the blue too. I really do like it. This is just, it's so buttery. And it's like, if you're like me and you live in hoodies, you could get this for spring and just like push the sleeves up, wear it everywhere with some like fabulous hoops and just like any kind of sandals. Super casual, but if you put on like some really cute sandals with it, you could wear this anywhere. It's just so good. Okay, so use your imagination again. I have on obnoxious bra straps. Like you would obviously wear like a strapless bra with this or whatever if that's your vibe. But this off the shoulder dress, you guys, is so comfortable. It kind of like cinches a little, but it's not it's not too tight at the top. It's not like you feel like it's going to go anywhere. It's just done really well. I like the floral in this. I normally don't go for a lot of floral stuff, but I like the lilac, which is kind of a, you know, it's kind of an in color or whatever, but it's just very like soft floral, very cute for spring. It's got like a little bit of a, like a double, it's got a little bit of like, you know, some ruffles happening at the bottom, but not too frilly. So this is a great option too. Super cute. Like I said for Easter, you know, make it special for your kids and for your family and um, yeah, I don't know. This is a really cute option. A few more things, you guys. I did say that I had a few little cover-ups that I grabbed. This was cool. It's a Tommy Bahama shirt, but it's made to be a cover-up. It's like a cool blouse. How... I just love this. Some cover-ups are a little not, like, friendly for, like, okay, well, am I... Because they're just so slinky and just nothing, and it's like, mm, I don't know. You know, I want something that is still really cute, but I could actually go in somewhere if I needed to. Um, this one I thought was really cute too, because even though it like has that deep part in the middle, it laces up. I think it's just going to be super, super cute. Not too revealing, but I mean, it's, it's a cover up, you know, it's not going to be like, but it's not so like out there, but it does, I mean, it covers up enough. And then this, oh, this is super cute. So cute little black top, probably the same shape like as the lace top that I was wearing in the first of the video. Has a slight little ruffle around, um, but it's, it's a stretchy material and um, has a little bit of a poof at the sleeve. And I just, I really like that effect. I like that kind of, you know, that sleeve that's a little longer, but that has a poof to it super cute. So I think that one came in some other colors as well. But anyways, um, that's that. And then a few things that I grabbed for Olivia because you always want, you know, you ask to see things that I'm getting for her. And I definitely refreshed her wardrobe not too long ago. That's something else. I've been doing especially now, getting kind of her closet back together because we did rip out her closet and do one of those Ikea pack systems in there with the drawers. And since her closet's so like long, but it's exposed, it just really added a lot to her room and it's just so cute. But um, so I was excited to get her a lot of stuff for spring because a lot of her stuff is no more. You know, kids grow out of sitting so fast and that was something that we've been doing is kind of, you know, going through like when we were cleaning out her room. I love this. If this was in my size, I would wear it. But um, it has like a stretchy neck and it ties. Just the cutest little sundress, just everywhere dress. Another cute sea little top. Has a little crisscross in the back. Um, little dress, actually. And uh, I'd probably put her on some like little shorts with this, just in case. But super cute. This little yellow top. She loves yellow. It's one of her... She loves pink, but yellow is probably her next favorite color. So I thought that was a cute little top. And then so many sweet little dresses. I thought this was adorable. I just, in spring and summer, she lives in little dresses all the time. And this, I love this top. I have some things by this brand, actually. But I love this little dress. It's a little long-sleeved, kind of like fluttery eyelet dress. Just very cute. So... Um, love that. And then a few more little sundresses. Gosh, any of these would be so cute at Easter, especially this one. It ties in the back. So cute. And then, um, and then this one. So cute too. So really excited to see her in those. And, um, excited to wear a lot of this stuff. I feel ridiculous wearing this bra, uh, <laughs> with this top. But, um, 
you guys hear that? <laughs> she has like a um like a synthesizer, like a voice thing, and she is singing Let It Go. It's like Let It Go. It sounds like auto tune. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that, like I said, it's probably be really long, but hopefully you had the time. You know, I mean, I feel like we've we've got lots of time on our hands. But no, I mean, it's 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 it gets real when you're at home with your family. It's a lot of work when you've got your kids home and your husband. You know, just everybody's at home. So I get that because I feel kind of like you know, even though I work and I support our family and I'm you know working from home. I very much, I feel I'm a stay-at-home mom, and so both ends, I get, I get it, you know what I mean? And um, it is hard no matter what, but it's definitely, so yeah, it's definitely not like, wow, we just have all the time in the world just to be kicking back like watching YouTube now, but um, I know y'all are all busy, I know you guys are all dealing with this and um, hopefully that you enjoyed this and if you are missing getting out and shopping and looking around at clothes or you're just like me, which I feel like most of you guys are that shop online anyways. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully me trying on a lot of it helps you guys kind of see, especially since of course we're going to be, you know, ordering for a while. <laughs> okay. And that's the news. So anyways, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I just love talking to you guys. I wish that we had more time to talk about all kinds of other things, uh, but I will be back with another video soon. Like I said, um, some fun beauty stuff coming up that, that I'm going to show you and um, lots of fun favorites coming up and lots, just lots of cool stuff. Um, now that we're probably going to catch up on like TV and a lot of stuff, I don't know. Um, I might do another video more like in depth with podcasts, TV, all kinds of stuff that I'm enjoying that might get us through this a little better. And um, maybe that'll come up very soon as well. That will, I'll, I'll try to put that up very soon as well. So thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. So sincere in saying that I am just thinking about all of you. I hope that all of you are well. I really hope that this brings you some happiness. And, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully you're feeling positive. Let's just take it as it is. We can't do anything about this other than make good decisions and take care of our families and be the best that we can be for them. So um, let's do that. And I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye y'all.